Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to have you here with me today because I'm going to show you my 2022 makeup favorites. These are all the products that I go to and you should see my makeup room, how jam-packed it is with all kinds of makeup. The area that I get ready in in the morning has a lot of stuff and so I really am just showing you the things that I absolutely love the most out of the whole year and I'm so excited that you're here with me. But first, let me show you my outfit for the day and this is a cashmere sweater. It is red, of course, and then I have on Kareen Sultan jewelry, which I really like, and everything is linked below the video. I'm especially excited about this bracelet because when the summer comes, I just really feel like I'll get a lot of use out of that. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll join our community. It's a lot of fun to be here. We learn a lot about makeup, skincare, and just feeling great in life as we enter our second half. Okay, let's get into this. And first, I hope you have something to drink. I have my sparkling water here. My son bought me a soda stream for Christmas and it was my best gift ever. I'm gonna link it below because if you are like me and like sparkling water, but you hate running out and having to run to Costco or whatever to get it, this will give you sparkling water as much as you want made out of your own tap water. It's fantastic, I just love it. Okay, let's get into this. And I've just got everything kind of in a line here and I'll just start where I started my line. And my two favorite eyeshadow palettes, this is the first one. And you know this if you've watched my channel, this is the Natasha, Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And this is actually the second one that I purchased this year. And as you can see, it has wonderfully neutral colors, a little bit of a light shimmer and I love those for lids. This color, of course, you can tell that I use that a lot. I don't have this on today, I have the other palette, but I absolutely love that for a lid color. Also, this is a beautiful brown, which is great in the crease. Absolutely love this palette. It is a little expensive, but to me, it is worth it, especially since I bought two. You can tell I thought it was worth it. Now, the second palette, and I've been using this one more recently, is the Tarte, what is it called? Clay Play Volume 2, and I love the Tarte eyeshadows. To me, they are just as good as the Natasha Denona shadows in terms of quality. And as you can see, I'm hitting pan on quite a few of these. This is a great brow color. Just, oh, <laughs> I've got this stuff on from the last time. Ah, okay, there we go. That is a great brow color. And this is a very nice crease color, just a natural brown color there, very nice. And of course, I like a little bit of shimmer on the lid. And so here is actually a highlighter and that looks great on the lid. And in addition to all these eyeshadows, this is a very bargain friendly palette because you have a contour or a bronzer here. You have a wonderful little blush shade here and a nice rose that's quite universal and wearable. And then you have the highlighter, which again, I use on my lids. Absolutely love that palette. You will love either one of those, I guarantee. Now, one of the problems that I especially have is darkness around my eyes, like right here and here, and then I've got little dark bags right here. And so what I use to take care of that, and this is the second one I purchased, and I've, I've used this for about a year and a half. It is still one of my all-time favorites. It is the Pixie by Petra Peach Concealer Pot. I don't think it's called pot, but as you can see it there, it's just a little pot. Then you take your concealer brush and dip in and you just put it in those areas of, of brown or black that you have and it just lightens the under eye area. It gets rid of the darkness. Absolutely love this. And this was not even enough for me. I've gone back to an old favorite and I'm using it all the time now. For some reason, when I'm in the kitchen under this natural light, you can see a lot of the darkness. You know, okay, I'm gonna put some on. This is really scary because I don't, I don't have a very good mirror here. In fact, I don't have a mirror here. I have a cell phone. Let me get my Angie, my Angie kitten brush. Here it is, Angie kitten brush. As you can see, that's just nulling out the black there. And goodness gracious, I sure hope that it looks okay for the rest of the video. Maybe I should really blend that in just in case. And those were my Angie brushes and I absolutely love them. My makeup has gotten so much more beautiful since I started using the BK Beauty brushes. There's just no doubt about it. I have a ton of them. I have the Angie brush set. I have a fabulous foundation brush, the 101 that I use. I have their entire face brush collection and I can't recommend it highly enough. It was a total game changer for me. And again, this is the L'Oreal Peach Corrector Stick 
and I use it specifically in this area here, it's less than $6 and it really, really works. Okay, for my under eye concealer, it was a bit of a tough one, it's upside down, because I really liked quite a few concealers this year, but I would say out of all of them, when I really want to look my best, I grab for this one, which is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer, and it is in the color 250, which I'm not sure what that is. It's probably a buff or a natural or something like that, but it has this huge show foot, and it is very easy to apply. It looks so natural on. It doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. In fact, it takes the wrinkled area, which I definitely have them, and it somehow makes the wrinkles seem softer. It's very moisturizing, very, very great concealer. Now, I always do my eyes first, so I'll continue with eye products before I get into my favorite face faves for 2022. First, I'll tell you my favorite mascaras, and the Stila still wins out. This has been a fave for the last like two years. Absolutely love this mascara. It is natural, but it really does thicken the lashes. There is that beautiful brush with the waist, and for some reason, I just think that particular style of a brush just really gets those lashes evenly coated all over, and, it, and I think the fact that it looks like a waist here tends to make sure that you get the inside and the outside lashes, which are always a little bit of a problem. This does not flake. It wears beautifully. Absolutely a fabulous mascara. Now, if you are a bargain hunter, this is another really good mascara. And this is the Morphe Make It Big. And this is drugstore priced. It is at Ulta, but it is a fabulous, fabulous mascara. I love it. And again, it has a big bushy head, not quite as much of a waist as the Stila, but very, very similar. And to me, it has a very similar effect. And I did a video earlier in the year where I used the Morphe Primer, which is blue, plus this. And before that video, I thought that the primer really helped make this look even better. But after I watched that video in editing, I realized that I don't think the primer really makes much difference. I think this little $12 mascara does it all. It's the only thing you will need. Now, a common problem with mascara is clumps. And you will never have clumps again if you use this little wonder worker. And this is the Curved Metal Lash Comb. And I use this before I use my eyelash curler. Girls, you should be using an eyelash curler for sure. And then after I apply the mascara, a lot of the time I'll just comb through the lashes and make sure they are clump free and gorgeous. Beautiful little tool here. And I think it's like beautiful little tool here. And I think it's about six bucks. Now my eyeliner I've been using, I've tried quite a few other ones through the year, but I still like the Pure On Point Eyeliner. Number one, it has a self sharpener. So you always have a perfect point. Like there, you can see that perfect point here. I use this in two different colors, depending upon how dark I want my eyes. This one is the On Point Eyeliner in the color Not Sorry. And this is kind of a gray light brown. And the other one is called On the Earth or Down to Earth. I think it's Down to Earth and it is a browner color, but either one is just lovely. Now here is my brow product of the year. And basically I love this and it is drugstore. It is the Revlon Colorstay Eyebrow Pencil in the color Blonde. And my eyebrows, quite honestly, have been growing like Groucho Marx lately. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Tell me in the comment section if you think I should have them shaped up and kind of made more narrow. Ever since I started the carnivore six weeks ago, my eyebrows have gone and my lashes have gone like crazy bushy. I mean, it's really strange, but I diverged there. I really like this particular type of pencil because it covers the grays beautifully. And if you're blonde, it is very hard to find a good eyebrow pencil, and this is a fantastic color. Now, if you just want to color your brows all over and cover up the grays, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Color. Tinted Brow Gel is what it's called. And again, this is blonde and I'll see if I can apply it. I'll see if I can show you how it looks. See, it just kind of lightens things up. I actually had it on already. So I don't know if you can really tell, tell much difference. And again, it is so dangerous when I reapply makeup out here in my kitchen because I don't have a mirror here. So anyway, I, I hope it looks okay, but it holds your brows into place and it covers up the grays really love this tinted brow gel. Now let's get into the base makeup, to the foundations. And the first thing, and I've been loving this lately, this is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. And what this does, it is a primer that just gives you a beautiful, youthful glow all over your face. 
Absolutely love this. You can mix it with your foundation if you want. You can apply it straight, and that's what I do. I use it just like a primer, primarily in the center area here, but anywhere I want to look a little bit glowy, a little bit more youthful, I do use this. It's fantastic. Also, I think it was an Emily Award winner, so that doubly says it's a great product. Now, I have been loving this lately, and I just discovered this, rediscovered it, I guess, maybe about three weeks ago, and since I made the discovery, I have been using it every single day. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector, and I wear it in the color Light to Neutral 30. And I don't know why I'm surprised I like this, because one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup in the color Buff 30. And I'll wear these interchangeably. However, I have really been liking this one better because as I've gotten older and my fine lines are getting more and more prevalent, I find that the lighter coverage of this really does just skim over my skin more beautifully. It doesn't have that cakey look that sometimes this can have. However, if you want more full coverage, this is a great one. You just have to work with it a little more as you get a little bit older. But this one is really like a CC cream or a BB cream. It also has an SPF of 30. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It is what I have on today. Okay, for high-end foundations, I really have two here. I have two versions of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best foundations of all time. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And this is the, this is the heavier version, although it is medium coverage and quite buildable. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. So this is a little bit lighter version of this. Both of them are just absolutely flawlessly beautiful foundations. You can get as much coverage as you want or as little coverage as you want. It's very easy to shear this out on the outside of your face. I just put a dot on each of the four quadrants and use my BK Beauty 101 to smooth it all in with some setting spray. Absolutely a gorgeous finish. It does last like 12 hours is what they say, and I truly believe that's the case. And this year I have found a foundation that not a lot of people have talked about on YouTube, but I love this foundation. It is the Dior Backstage Foundation, and I have it in the color 1.5N. <laughs> Sexy name, huh? 1.5N. I guess that means neutral. I always do a neutral or a buff. This gives you about the same coverage as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, maybe a little bit more of a sheer coverage because I feel like more of my own skin shows through on this and it does wear all day and blends in beautifully. Absolutely a gorgeous finish. Okay, now let's get into bronzing and illuminating palettes, highlighting palettes. And the first one is no surprise. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm Palette. And I have used this all year. I bought it at the Sephora sale last year and have loved it. And there that is. And these are two lovely colors that I mix together to do under my cheekbones, on the sides of my nose, a little bit of bronzing. And this color is a perfect little highlighter color. And this color, I actually take over my blush because it just gives a little bit of radiance. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. But I think this is an absolutely gorgeous high-end palette. Absolutely love that. Now, if you want something a little more drugstore priced, here is the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette. And these are beautiful, beautiful highlighters. And I think this is about $11, which is just crazy. But what I do is I take both of these colors and just kind of mix them together, sometimes even that color. And that makes a beautiful highlighter color. Absolutely lovely. Put a little down my nose here. <laughs> Again, this is dangerous to do in the kitchen. But if you're looking for a great highlighter palette at a good price, nobody does these things better than L'Oreal. They do great highlighters and they also do fabulous bronzers. And this is their L'Oreal Bronze Please in the color La Tierra, which probably means the earth or something. I think Tierra means that. But that is an amazing bronzing palette and you get like a ton of it. You will never go through this. But that is a very, very natural looking bronze color. It looks just like you would have as a tan. And again, I should not be putting this all over my face. But anyway, if you're interested in a super bargain in a bronzer you'll have for years and you will love, this Lumi Bronzer Palette is fantastic. Okay, in terms of blushes, I have a low end and a high end. And actually, I have so many blushes that I love. But these are the two that I grab for just all of the time. This is the one when I'm just running around town and I just want to put on something easy. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the color So Flushed. 
and there is that color. It is just a little peachy pink color that I think is rather universal. This is so easy to apply, and unlike some other blushes, it hangs around a good long time. I don't have to reapply this. Maybe every four to five hours, I'll notice that I, I need a little more, but I can't recommend this highly enough, and I think it's like $5, which is amazing. Now, here is my high-end choice for this year, and I had so many, but this is the one that I really just grab for all of the time. This is the Laura Geller New York Blush, Baked Blush and Brighten in the color Peach Delight. And there this is, this is a baked blush. And I love the fact that it has little highlighter colors in there. It has a variegated kind of pinks and peaches and maybe a little bit of a rust color in there. I shouldn't put any more on, oh my gosh. No, I should not, I better stop that. But this is an absolutely fabulous blush. And I think this peachy pink combo, it's kind of a neutral that I think would work on just about everyone. Okay, next we're into powders and I'll go into loose powders first. And I don't have a high end loose powder. I love the Laura Geller translucent powder that everyone loves, every YouTuber loves. But I recently found this Wet n Wild Photo Focus translucent powder and I can't tell the difference between this and Laura Geller's translucent powder. This is an amazing blurring powder and I think it's like five or six dollars. I'm not really going to get it out to show you. I'll show a little bit on my finger here, but, but there it is. It is just a finely milled powder that goes to clear on your skin. It really just nulls fine lines and wrinkles. It has that blurring effect of a Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I don't know how they've accomplished that for such a huge amount of powder in like six bucks. It's amazing. Now, in terms of pressed powders, I do have a low end and a high end, and they're both wonderful. The low end or drugstore is the Physician's Formula Better Believe It Face Powder. And here it is, and it is in the color translucent. There we go, and look, it is all those different colors, which I really think helps, but they all blend together just to create the most beautiful pressed powder, and I think it almost gives a dimensional look to your skin. Absolutely beautiful. Now, no one out there is going to be surprised by my favorite pressed powder in the high-end area, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder, and I have to admit that I carry this around in my purse, and I use it all the time. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And half the time I'll get ready in the morning, I'll think my makeup looks really good, I'll get out in the car and then I'll look in the rearview mirror and I'll go, oh my God, it looks terrible. And so what happens if I notice some greasy areas or some areas where there are just lines prevalent, then this is a blurring powder and it really is. I'll go ahead and, and apply a little bit of it. And let's see, there we go. I'll just kind of apply in there. And it just kind of blurs things out very beautifully. I absolutely love this powder. I feel like whenever I pull out this Charlotte Tilbury Compact, I'm going to look about five years younger automatically. I mean, this is amazing. Look how beautiful that is and how it really does help blur out the imperfections on your face. Now, the last area is lip products, and this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this. It's a little pricey. I think it's $24 for this little guy, but I've had this more than a year. In fact, I've got another backup one in there in a box that I just ordered because I don't want to run out. But here it is, and it is just a beautiful little sleeping mask. And if you have dry lips or you have lines in your lips, I really think that over time, this softens up your lips and also softens up all those little wrinkles that we have around our lips. This is very moisturizing. I truly love this. Okay, now in terms of lip makeup, one of my favorite things is right here. And this is the City Lips Lip Plumper. And this is in the color clear. And what I do is whenever I start my makeup, before I get anything else done on my face, I go ahead and apply some of this on my lips. And what it does is it basically starts working on softening your lips and nulling out those little lip wrinkles that we all get as we get older. And it has a little bit of a tingling. It doesn't hurt or anything like that but it does plump up your lips just enough to kind of plump up any of those fine lines that you have going. And so by the time you get ready to apply other lipstick, this has done its work and prepared your lips just beautifully. Absolutely love this. And I think I have a discount code below the video for this. Now, this is the lip combination that I have on right now. And I am constantly changing my lip combos. But right now, here's my favorite. And this is the L'Oreal Colorish lipstick in the color Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. It's $7.54. And it is just a very beautiful, kind of a peachy, rosy nude. 
I'll go ahead and apply it. There we go. And I like it because it is a medium range nude color, not too dark, not too light, very, very pretty. Now the lip pencil that I have with this, I absolutely love. And I think you could probably get away with just having this one lip pencil in your collection. I must have about 30, 35, but if I, if I had to narrow it down to one, it would be this one. This is the Revlon Color Stay Lip Pencil in the color Nude. And, oh gosh, I'll apply a little bit. This is really dangerous. I applied it earlier. But as you can see, that color is just the perfect amount of a darker lip color to give you that little bit of a defined line, that little bit of brown around your lips, but not harsh brown, just a beautiful complementary tone to your natural lips. And then to give it a beautiful gloss, I've been going in with the City Lips Lip Plumping Lip Gloss in the color San Diego. And it is just a beautiful kind of a shimmery peach color. I'll go ahead and apply that. And see how that just lightens it up and it gives it just a little bit of a crystal, a little bit of a shiny look. Absolutely love that. And this is a long wearing lip gloss that doesn't feel gucky on your lips. Absolutely love this. Now, real quickly, I'll just show you three of my other go-to lip products. The first one is from MAC, and it is a cream lipstick. There it is. And it is in the color called You Wouldn't Get It, which is a weird color name, but absolutely a beautiful kind of a rosy nude color. But this one actually does have some color. And so for spring, when you want to get out of the really nudey looking nudes, I think this one is perfect. Now, this one I carry around in my purse all the time, and this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the color 904 Varnished Rosewood, and I'll go ahead and swatch that for you. But there is that one, and it is super neutral. Nobody's ever going to come up to you and say, what lovely lips you have, but this will match everything, blend in perfectly, and you will always look good when you wear it. I think this is a very, very universal shade. Plus, I love the little crystal looking tube. Amazing in a drugstore product. Now, I also really love these, and these are long wearing lipsticks. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink, and this comes in a ton of different colors, and I've got several of them, and I like them all. This is in the color Koi, and that is just kind of a nice true rose color, but it is beautiful. And this lip formula, while it is long lasting, it is not super drying on your lips at all. You put it on and then give it a moment to dry down before you apply any gloss over it, but absolutely love these Maybelline vinyls. They wear a long time and they look great. Now, in terms of my absolute best lip glosses of the year, these are hands down winners this year, if I had to choose one, which I do. These are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses and they come in probably 10, 12, 15 different colors and they're all beautiful. This is a pink shimmery color in the color Moon and this is one of my favorites and it is in the color Crystal and it looks really ugly in there. That looks like the ugliest color known to man. I'll go ahead and put it on over this, might as well and I'll show you what it does. It just nulls out anything. If you have a lipstick color that just looks maybe a little bit too bright, you put this on and it just kind of nulls it out. It takes it down a notch, but yet it gives you an absolutely beautiful shine. If I had to choose one of the Maybelline Lifter glosses, I would probably choose the Crystal. They also have one called Pearl, if you like that white pearly look, but I love this one. And in fact, this is my second tube. Now, I just have two other kind of bonus products to mention. And number one, it is the BK Beauty brushes. Especially love the Angie set. Love the foundation brushes. Absolutely can't go wrong with any of the BK Beauty brushes. And there is a discount code for these below the video. Now, here is something I just started using maybe about three weeks ago. And I always thought, I have oily hair. Why would I ever want to use a hair oil? Well, I was totally wrong about that. I don't think I ever realized the purpose of hair oils before I found this. I, I found this and I looked it up online and all the reviews were fantastic. This is the Oribe, or Oribe, I don't know how to say it, Nourishing Hair Oil, and this is fantastic. And what you do is in the evening, 
You just take a little bit, got a hair on it there. Ah! You just take a little of this and then you rub it between your fingers and then you just pull out the ends of your hair with a little bit of the hair oil on it, maybe the last three or four inches. You never go up into your scalp because I don't really want oil there, but anywhere you feel your hair is just a little bit dry, this hair oil keeps your dry ends from getting brittle. It really helps protect your hair. And also as we're getting older and everything dries out, it helps give us more young, more beautiful, more supple looking hair. Now, at this point in the video, I like to leave you with a thought for the day, but because this video ran long, I just want to ask you, if you wouldn't mind, to tell me your favorite products in the comment section below the video, because I would like to make a video using all of your favorite products. I don't care high end, low end. If you have multiple products, that's absolutely fine. But to me, this channel is a conversation between the two of us, just girlfriends talking about what works for us. I've showed you mine. Now, if you take a moment and show me yours, that would be great. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.